right, there you go. Uh, YouTube people, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please. Twitch uh, tells you to subscribe to my channel. It'll be a uh, be real good good look for you, boy. I see y'all watching. I need y'all to... Uh, some of y'all are subscribing. I fuck with y'all. But I need y'all to uh, get me get me to uh, at least 500. What? We need to get me to my to my two. I need some. I need to get two hundred, but I want five hundred. But uh, anyway, this video is this is embarrassing to black people. I'm trying to do a couple shorter videos because my I'll just be reacting to long videos and I make them longer. Anyway, this for my boy Night Talk. I hope Suki. God, Suki, don't. I know it's about Suki. God damn. I don't. I didn't know that about you. What do, what do you know? That you're a musician. So that's why I'm interviewing you today, so I can get to know you. So I'm a musician. Mm -hmm. What the f that mean? Make magic or something? What is musician? I think that's, I think you're confusing that. Yeah, I'm not no musician. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Suki don't know what the difference between magician and musician. Damn, Suki. Um. Yo. <laughs> yeah, um, before we dive into this though, bro, make sure y'all pull up the shop, stevieknight.com. Anytime you see me rocking some drip that you rocking with, pull up over there, browse through, find something you like. I got you, man. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give y'all a little bit more of that video so you so you can have some more context as to what's going on, and we're gonna dive in after i don't i didn't know that about you what do, what do you know that you're a musician so that's why i'm interviewing you today so i can get to know you so i'm a musician mm -hmm. what the f that mean make magic or something what is musician i think that's i think you're confusing that yeah i'm not no musician i, I make music i make I, music I, and that's not all i do i make music i act i'm a tv star too a young mogul uh -huh. I, just really quick, I think you're confusing. I'm not confusing nothing because I, you you don't know. I, you thought that all I was was a magician or whatever the fuck you said. See, that's what I think you think I said. No, I said musician, I think, not what, magician. I don't think, baby. But, I don't think. What I, is that? That's ghetto. I don't think. I know. Damn, Suki got it. <laughs> <laughs> bruh. Suki got a you got a little finish, bruh. Everybody's so defensive. Why is the world so defensive nowadays? So you, you think. I didn't say magician, Suki. I said musician. And I think you are a musician. <laughs> no, baby. I do music. So you, just really, just really quick, for the record, could you say you don't think you're a musician? I'm not none of that. But then after that, you just said, I do music. Yeah, I do music. So, in other yeah. words, you're a musician. No, I'm not. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I know what y'all thinking. Ain't no way. Ain't no way that someone is this stupid. Or y'all really think she's this stupid. I, I just refuse to believe it. I refuse to believe that any grown ass American that speaks English does not know what a damn magician is. Come on, man. Uh first off, Suki from the hood and uh I don't know why she doing an interview with uh what's that girl? Altoy I don't know her fucking name, uh, the Drake girl, but, uh, her dry, like, her dry humor and shit, people like Suki don't, that shit don't rub them the right way, so they get defensive quick, and that's, that's, that's hood tech, that's just hood niggas in general, like, that sucks, bro, like, <laughs> that sucks, yeah. like, she make herself look bad, I bet you she went back and watched that, was like, oh, like, I see what you're saying, like, but yeah, it's too late now. Come on, man, bro. Like, and then what sucks? They already talk bad about Suki's uh, sexy red. They already like make them fucking. They hold them to like a weird standard, and they already like want to talk bad about everything they do. It just sucks that like this is another thing on her belt. She had to been playing a part, acting, portraying a dumbass, which is even more up but that's the only way it would make sense bro so i had to deep dive into this shit a little bit because i refuse to believe someone could be this guy retarded 
And I don't know who Shawty is, bro. I seen her a few times on my feed popping for Toxic. And I mean, I've come to find out she just uh, a, another Cardi B type, bro. Her name is Destiny Lynette Henderson, better known by her stage name, Suki Hana. And she a uh, reality TV personality and a rapper from Delaware. Um, and she rose to prominence as a cast member of the VH1 reality series, Love and Hip Hop. So you already know what time it is, bro. You already know what time it is, dog. Bro, Shawty is 32. <laughs> 32. Ain't no way in fucking hell she don't know what a damn magician is, bro. Little babies know what the fuck that is. To sidestep that, there's a lot of folks that's in their 30s that's, that's dumb and slow. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. It's dog, it's just, it, it's it's no way. It's impossible. It's impossible, bro. And he after it. doing more research, I've confirmed that she is playing a part, portraying the image, which is what would you say is the biggest obstacle you've had to go through growing up? Girl, what is an obstacle? I know that's right. I know what that. Is that? <laughs> I know, bro. I know the interviewer did not just say, I know that's <laughs> Bro, they, do they even be hearing themselves? Or they be so caught up in, like, talking to these rappers and shit that they just be ready to... They just be ready to the 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 glaze on them, bro. That shit crazy, bro. So basically, like anything that you really had to overcome, like a hardship that you had to overcome, to be, where are you basically. It's not. It's not. But that's that's a trick question because I'm not the one who had the the problem with the obstacles. It was these hoes. They didn't. They can't overcome me. That'd be the problem. I, I'm the threat. So it, it's not. It's I ain't had no obstacles. It's it's these hoes. They still can't take a bitch like me. Like I'm just. I'm just fly. I'm just up there. Wait, she from Delaware? Why she sound like she, like, from Louisiana? Am I tripping? Yeah. I'm like the dove that they, they let out when people die. You feel me? They let out and fly. I'm that girl. Because these bitches is dead when I come through. That, that, that be the problem <laughs> right there. And that's, that's, that's what we, in geometry, that's what we need to understand right there. That's the problem. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, we need to go back to geometry and help these bitches understand that I'm that dove that fly because they dead. Yeah, so that's the only obstacles that they got. I ain't got no obstacles. <laughs> that's, ooh, I know that's right. I ain't got no obstacles. I don't even know what that means. Obstacles. And she said, I know that's they right. Obstacles. What is that? That sounds like some type of shit, like people got to jump and climb and flip over. Uh-uh. That's I don't, what, that's I, what I, I ain't is. jumping through no loops. I'm that girl. I wear heels. These bitches be jumping through loops trying to keep up with me. That's why they got their track sneaks on and still can't fuck with a bitch. That's that's the fucking part. That's why they got their track sneaks on still can't fuck with a bitch. Obstacles. Did somebody in the back say period? Mm -mm. I come from Bro, a long line. Hold on. It's... What is obstacles? Mm -mm. I come from a long no, line. No, go back, go back. What is did so somebody... track sneaks on still can't fuck with a bitch? Obstacles. <laughs> what is obstacles? Bro, I know that nigga back there was gay. <laughs> and he gassing her up, bro. And she's steady ah, going. <laughs> I come from a long line of hoes. I'm not the first one. What is that to say, bro? In this generation, but it go all the way back to slavery time. And before this, <laughs> look how, look how he look, <laughs> bro. He is flabbergasted. <laughs> bro, what the fuck is bro? <laughs> bro. <laughs> he is like, did you? He like, did you really just say that, bro? Line is selling pussy. I'm not the first one. My auntie. <laughs> bro, he's so. My mama don't like me saying her name in my interview. Grandmama, oh my great grandmama, God. great 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 grandmama. Oh, was any of them in a $40 line? <laughs> $40?
something about cameras. Like, it really just, I don't know. I just get into another vibe. Oh, what type of vibe? I don't know. Can you describe that feeling for me? I, I mean, I just, I just get a little turned on at times. Turned on? Just because there's cameras yeah, around I us? I feel like I'm just supposed to perform and do something. What are you going to do? Well, okay. Uh, <laughs> She's so lost. That's, that's a good idea. Maybe. Maybe yeah. not. Maybe. What do you, do you want to perform right now? What do you mean by that? Like clothes on? It's just on. like something about these cameras is just like it turns me on. It's just like I mm -hmm. feel like I'm supposed to do something else. But we're having an interview, so it's just like, I guess. Okay, yeah. Maybe wait till I ask you a few questions. We're first. having an interview. Yeah. I could be doing something that could give me a lot of money. Like what? I'm not understanding. What could you be doing? Suji. With the good Kuchi. <laughs> what could you be doing right now? I mean, how many times are you going to ask that question? Until you answer it. Okay, I don't know. Okay. Nasty just... stuff. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, like anything. You make a lot of money doing that? <sighs> Baby, one thing about me is everybody knows I'm super with the good Gucci, so I always make a lot of money. Sad, dog. Sad, bro. Because um, it, it makes sense in today's age for her to be popping for portraying this whore like image, you know what I'm saying? Uh, perpetuating toxicity and black hip hop culture and shit, right? But it's one thing if that is really her, but it's not. I mean, to this extent, it's not. For her to be portraying herself as a literal dumbass, that's fake. It's, it's not real. And doing so, she is perpetuating the retardation of black folk. Right, black folks that live in this world, that black folks that live in this box, the black folks, or just society in general that is influenced by these toxic ass idols that we we put on these fucking platforms, bro. It's embarrassing, man. It's embarrassing. It's, it should be embarrassing to see that she has the amount of influence that she has. She's perpetuating this fucking stigma that follows black people everywhere, bro. Like, look, like you, y'all are glorifying being idiots. Y'all are glorifying being dumbass. Y'all are glorifying being whores, bro. And it's true. But then we we gonna turn around and get mad at people for having these narratives made up in their mind about black folks because we idolize dumb shit. Well, certain black folks idolize dumb shit, bro. She getting paid off being a fucking idiot and faking the image. That's embarrassing as shit, man. All that shit is embarrassing, man. But to to fake it, to act like you're doing that, to make it seem like it's cool to be an idiot. You know what I'm saying? Um. Like, you, you you selling your soul doing that shit, which she has admitted to. I want to tell you I apologize, and I'm sorry for when I'm I was just about to say, she already she already admitted to that. So this is like, bro, like, <clears throat> it's sad. At the end of the day, it is sad that, like, um, she's doing that especially. But, like, that's what they want. I mean, hell, Charleston White done told you. They want, the, they want that. That's what they're going to push. They want to push that for us. They're going to push that. Especially the black culture. They pushing all that ratchet shit, the negativity. They're going to push that all day long. They want us to be slutted out. They want us to be whores. They want us to be all kinds of stuff. I probably got this video demonetized. But it is what it is. They want us to be, you know, in that negative light. And they, because that's how they view us. And they're going to, they're going to always view us like that. It's going to take us as a community to change that. But, you got some that's just in there, and that's all they know, and that's okay. Like, that's all they know. Like, they have to be enlightened, you know what I'm saying? They got to get shown something different. But, that, again, they got to be up. We got to do that, you know what I'm saying? So, it's just like, it just sucks that um, when you get to, like, the media stuff, that's what they want to push. That's what they want to show. They want to, they want us to, to be that. And that's how, like, I mean, hell, even, like, look on here. I ain't going to say the app. Or whatever but look on here wherever you're watching look on here and look at how like how certain black dudes have to act that ass and like show their colors and show you know just be wild or whatever to get a million views to get a bunch of followers and stuff just to get some chump chains from these these sites and then you got certain people that don't want to go to that you know what i'm saying like it's just it's the stereotypes like you feed into the stereotypes you don't get all the money in your world and that and that's selling your soul and it's like it is selling your soul and it sucks that it's like that
but it is what it is. It, it, it's, it, until we get a better way of um, what's the word? Until we get a better way of like changing, uh, controlling our narrative, it ain't gonna change. When we start controlling our narrative and controlling like how we're portrayed and look, and, and people are starting to do it now. You know what I'm saying? Like we're in the beginning stages of it now because a lot of people are tired of stuff like this. And uh, you're gonna uh, in the next five to ten years, you're gonna see a big shift in in the culture for real. And once we like start owning different sites and like just different radio stations and stuff, a lot of shit, a lot of that shit is changing. It's room for all of, but that shouldn't be the forefront. Like the ratchet shit shouldn't be the forefront all the fucking time. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it's just it just sh it, that shouldn't be that shouldn't be it. But anyway to say but as far as this music stuff i won't be doing this music stuff anymore i started this because this was my dream and you know i wanted to make sure i could get me and my kids out the hood it's, it's always been my passion to rap a while ago i had signed a contract and i didn't know nothing about the business or the or, or, the, or this game out here and just right now i'm realizing that i signed my soul I, I sold my soul to the devil i signed myself to the devil i don't even own myself no more i don't I sold my soul to the motherfucking devil and I done pray, I pray, and I pray, and I pray. Right, it's all a fucking front. At the end of the day, I know it. And it's sad that like, you know, she sold herself and then like, and that's another thing, like they promise all the, all the money, everything you ever want, and you feed into it. And then you go back and read the, the dotted line of what you gotta do. And now she gotta, she's stuck like that. You know what I'm saying? She's stuck in that mode and she gotta, uh, forever long that contract is they gonna that's how much and, and she got kids and stuff so it's just like you know what i'm saying it sucks bro it sucks that like you know they come they they feed off of us that like don't have nothing and ain't seen nothing you know what i'm saying though and and especially like um people in our community that don't got no, no nobody in that corner to show them like I'm blessed enough to say, like, I had, like, my pops that, like, you know, was in the industry and stuff, and, like, I, I've seen, and, hell, I done got, even, even having him in my corner, I still done got fucked over with a lot of shit, so it's just, like, especially with, like, music in the music game, like, that's why, like, I really don't care to, like, like, I want to DJ for, like, bigger uh, events and stuff, but, like, I really don't push it because, like, the, 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 the more you get that, the more you get fucked over. Especially now with DJs, bro. Like they treat DJs so awful. When hell, if it wouldn't be, if it weren't for DJs, rappers wouldn't be where they are today. But that's a whole another conversation. But it it just sucks, like how folks to use you, and especially if you you hungry and you think like this your only chance out. Oh my god, oh my god. What's on the families, the foundation being set around the youth and the easily influenced man but the families is fucked up the fam the, the mothers and fathers and aunties and uncles and cousins is allowing this dumb shit they reinforcing it right because they making money and they seeing like well shit if you doing that to make money hell they don't they don't care how the money come you making money and it's helping them and you giving them some of that change they gonna want you to act the ass all day long they do not care, bro. A lot of folks don't have your best interest, bro. And that's why it's big on, like, like securing your corner, like, making sure folks in your corner, bro. It's sad. They thinking it's cool to be a dumbass. They thinking it's cool to be a whore. They thinking it's cool to be a gangster. They thinking it's cool to be in jail, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's on the families at the end of the day. They ill-fitted to, 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 to bring the young, the, the young generation up, but then got people out here capitalizing off of it you out here perpetuating the, the retardation and degradation of your own people by acting like you're a fucking idiot it's on the families that got them raise these kids right man but we still gotta call a fucking spade a spade and this is some dumb shit the same person sukihana went viral for crying victim because some rapper kissed her in the mouth and grabbed her neck and all this shit when you selling this fucking image like osiris we watched him on granted that's still wrong like just because she has to sell that image and we know how contracts and shit work why could why osiris is still a scum bucket for that bro like just because a girl is a whore don't don't get the right to you know just kiss her 
You know what I'm saying? You still gotta even whores wanna be loved on and swoon. Like you still gotta talk a little game to the Mary, come on. Like she can be a whore all day. You still gotta talk that game to her. He wild out for that though. And like and that and two things can be right and wrong. He was wrong though. But just because she doing what she doing does not give him the okay for that. Because she's selling that rapping, image. Uh, Sukiana, who is a uh, is a, a musical star, is a uh, is a reality television star, and he forcibly kissed her. There's there's no other way to say it. He got a ton of backlash. There were even people who said he should be charged with a crime. Well, yes. Yeah, look how he show, did he it. Talked about YK Osiris's apology, and I think uh, like he he part, stopped. Felt that it was a That's the creepy part. Like she t she turned away the first time and was like, all right, chill, but did. He went in again, and it's just like, what do you do? Like, he awkward, and then niggas like him going to awkwardly laugh. Like, it's just a weird situation, bro. Like, that's awkward as hell, bro. You're a pretty genuine that's apology. not cool. What does Sukiana think? And, and that's the one who really matters. Does she think it's heartfelt, and does she accept it? Well, nah. uh, I think the answer to that is yes. So, Sukiana saw the apology. And here's what she had to say. First, I want to acknowledge that YK Osiris has apologized to me privately and publicly, and I have chosen to accept his apology. God always forgives me, and I can always forgive others. My accepting his apology is not my excusing or lessening the severity of his actions. This is destiny choosing to give grace to Osiris. And then she uh, went on, I am human, a woman, a mother, a daughter, before I am an entertainer. No matter what my lyrics express, I still have boundaries and have a right to them. And I'm not advocating for that. I'm not saying it's cool. I only bring that uh, up to highlight the the contradiction, to emphasize the point that she's fucking acting. You know what I'm saying? Someone that doesn't know what a magician is, someone that doesn't know what an obstacle is, wouldn't even know how to articulate herself to the point to, to express that she felt like a victim being kissed by a rapper in the mouth when all you do is sell sex in the first place. It's fucked up, but it ain't going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere as long as... People get caught in the image, bro. People get caught in that image of you. They think what you put on the internet is real life. And that's what... 